Hi guys, we will be back into this new video tutorial with OSP Pro in partnership with OSP IT Digital Solutions. Now today in this tutorial, simply today I'm going to show you how to to deal with one of us a uh, paper.js. Now paper.js is very cool a framework. Uh, it's very very nice. If I try to show you from my uh, application, I think I have some application somewhere with the paper.js so we just got to show here uh, I think I have some stuff on my application I think I have some applications on my with paper.js let's try to check the door oh, I think it is kind of fun now let us just do one together and show you now the first thing I'm going to talk about at the moment if you want to use paper.js now paper.js looks like uh, let's try to pick it. Try to pick it here. Uh, we just have something called uh, paper uh, JS. Now, if you want to download it, just go to that platform and download paper.js. When you click paper.js, if you want to download it, you just need to go to uh, one of us paperjs.org. Now, that is where we down tend to download paper.js. Now I know some of you may ask me what is paper.js and what is its main importance. Now paper.js tends to make our application more cool and nice. It's remember it's a JavaScript library, so it tends to make application more pleased and more organized. You get so uh, that implies in a simple term if you have it in your applications, there's how to frames up and if it's also, act it's also active with the cursor. So when I bring my cursor just around here. I think you can see it tends to bear off when I go back it goes and when I maybe I click on it top click on it top see you get that's paper.js now it's also a good library and I would like you also if not so you can also go back after reaching here you can also go and try to read on uh, the documentation whereby if you read on documentation it says that the paper.js is a Swiss army knife of vector graphics scripting. So it's just an open it's an open source a vector graph scripting framework that runs on top of a uh, top of the HTML canvas. It offers a clean sense gra graph uh, document object model and a lot of powerful uh, functionality to create and work with vector graph and user graphs. Get so all neatly wrapped up in a well-designed uh, constant and clean programming interface just like you can see uh, what I'm going to talk about here so it has that clean graph uh, interface now the point is this how do you get paper to just install in your machine now I'm just going to create a directory in my PC here I'm just going to create that directory I'm just going to call it maybe paper to uh, just going to call paper so you guys who may be interested in learning these new details, uh, please, and maybe I'm from Uganda, then I advise you to come into where I'm located so that you learn these things practically with me, uh, physically, whereby we shall learn from all, most of the, at least four to five, uh, just to play by the way, we have the, the sketch.js, the app.js, you get to make even a mobile application with JavaScript, node.js, React Natives, React.js, you get and even we shall also be in a position to learn also matter.js because this is going, that's going to be our next video today now if you try to cross check here i've happened to create my directory so i'm just going to pick my i'm going to just pick my stuff here a little bit a little bit so i have something here called new open up a new project folder so i'm going to take it to the desktop uh, I'm going to look for just paper. So paper is there. So that's it. So I'll pick, pick it up. So we just try to drag this down a bit here. Now I don't know any the other one. So that implies this is what we have. So that's cool. That's so cool. Now let's just come back here. Uh, how to use paper.js. So uh, uh, come back here in your application. So the next video will show you how you can embed it. So now this is where our stuff is going to. So I'm just going to make this page to go on the HTML since I'm using the desktop. 
now we need to install pepper.js you know so to install pepper.js like i've said just go down to installation just click a new browser and if you try to check here right now uh, it is taking me to, to, to the downloading page you now where i can access pepper.js now if you are guys you are from environment of uh, a one on us uh, if you want to use node.js with pepper.js then you just need to type on us uh, uh, and install a uh, one on us uh, pepper just type one on us install pepper now for me i really have pepper installed in my machine that's what i know i really have it installed in my machine so uh, i'll not just again take time there uh, on the installation you get so but that's the, the the techniques that you can always tend to do if at all you want pepper to be installed in a machine Remember I said Pepper is just like kind of clean, a uh, kind of form of interface whereby it tends to run on the f uh, the, uh, the front uh, part of the HTML5. That implies it works like it is give us something like a, an image on a page. You get so it brings that cool kind of environment for your given application and it sets it to be a uh, flexible to given user. Just like you can see it when a user sees that kind of stuff, looks to be so cool. Okay. Now let's just try to drag the other stuff of ours very fast. I said you can install it from here by using npm, or you can just, you know, uh, calm down. Uh, you can also just, you know, pick from the release. Already have it downloaded, so just click download. And when you click there, I think you can see from where already have one. So I'll just go back to my downloads, and then I pick pepper.js to you, and then I show you. How it looks like you get so uh, I'll just click here I go to my uh, downloads so I think I have pepper.js here so I'll just look for it uh, just come back in the it's compressed uh, I think it should be found something like pepper.js so I'm just going to pick one which I'm going to extract the other side of my stuff and also here I'm also installing it for Node.js users. That implies you guys who will be interested in Node.js uh, next time on when you're making applications. I think we shall be in position to have a uh, proper Node.js within, within our machines. So, the most important thing right now is to go back into our folder here, which we have this. So, we can paste in proper Node.js there. Now, I just need to, to extract it. So, I'll just come back here to extract my proper Node.js. It's just having one kind of one end is you know just like one end is so uh, if you try to see it I already have it here uh, it is just under dust yeah just under dust here sorry check that wow sorry sorry for that uh assets Yes, I think you can see pepper somewhere here. Pepper is just here. You get, and if you touch it, you can copy pepper off because you may need it. Or if not, so you can copy this entire code. You get, but this is what we need. Now, if you check back on our documentation, the documentation says what on the examples and on the features on the tutorial. Uh, if you try to cross check. It too says that uh, getting started and working with the, with the how to use PaperJS uh, script together with the, the paper script and what and JavaScript. Working with the PaperJS using JavaScript blah blah blah. So you can need to set the path, but don't really need to set the path for for it because uh, it will come with it definitely. So also we advise you whenever using PaperJS uh, to some extent you should also have a knowledge at least on sketch. Uh, dot, uh, pepper js you get whereby we shall be in position to uh, make our applications or make the, the program that we like to uh, to come up with or to, to print you know that's the most important thing now let me just take it back then here on our codes and then i try to show you that so this is it our application like i've said show it already here if you check back then here on our stuff we already have those paper JS, it's under assets and in CSS we have a document with CSS but also have examples so if I try to click on the classes 
In classes, we have this, all these accounts and examples. So if you try to just tend to run an index.html to launch for you this page, which this page has the other documentation that implies you can use the stuff offline. You get? So you can use it offline. I give assumption if I want to run now that page, I can just go back to my page here and I go to examples. Because in examples, you already have those stuff uh, inside there. You get? So if I click there, I just go for smoothie. Uh, that implies to just pick my codes and it will just be popping up like you can see so inside this example we can edit this example uh, so that i show what i'm trying to say remember this is just javascript so there's no big deal with it so if i go back to my part of the page which i said something like uh, inside the example uh, if you look at animate uh, this is the javascript part of the page you get this is the javascript page uh, if you just try to close back again, uh, try to sorry, try to copy it back. That's it. So in this page, I think you can see something here. Uh, this part of the page talk of the width, which is center, uh, width and the center of the element, and then the points in which it will be uh, uh, picking up. I think you can calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I mean this stuff, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you try to cross check in the page, if you come back in the page here and you say, you know what, I don't want 10, I want maybe, uh, I would like you to give me maybe uh, 8. So if I save that, and I go back to the page and I try to uh, refresh my page, just here up, try to refresh the page. I think you can see the number of lines have been reduced. So if you try to cross check, I've made it a so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, this 7. So it reduces by 1. So that's it. That's it. Now if you try to change the color, you can change the color of this page. So I can just go back here in my page and I say, you know what, from black, I want maybe something like red. So that when try to cross check in our page, I just try to refresh here on the page and I think you can see now it's red so my friends that's the simple introduction to one on us paper.js so anyone interested to learn more about it how do you add it to the page that will be the next video so I want to see you guys commenting down on this video and then find you guys who's also interested I will show you in the next video how to deal with the paper.js so guys thanks for watching please love you make sure stay stay, stay, uh, stay safe and make sure you happen to learn okay? May God bless you. Thank you.